Welcome to September the 22nd. I'll start from 2017, work back to 2013, and see what takes place. Don't give up on hope. An anarchist who gave Tony Abbott a Liverpool kiss has been arrested and admitted much. The anarchist claimed his action was not motivated by same-sex marriage, even as he justified it from same-sex marriage. The anarchist is apparently a liar, and nothing he actually says can be taken at face value, except his motivation was political hatred. A political hatred sparked by Turnbull many years before unseating the former Prime Minister, Abbott. Turnbull, like the anarchist, now says such things should not happen, so the anarchist should never have hit Mr. Abbott, and Turnbull should never have introduced such violent discourse. But that is what each have done. Mr. Abbott had a gorgeous, ripped daughter uh, who supports same-sex marriage, and Mr. Abbott is proud of her. Mr. Abbott disagrees with her views on same-sex marriage, but he's still a good dad. That is why the No campaign is earning kudos, while same-sex marriage Yes campaign is on the nose of many. Also on the nose is Samantha Maiden, who sent an expletive-laden text to the guy she was bagging. Journalists don't have high standards these days. In fact, if Maiden did not have low standards, it could be said she had no standards at all. Last year, Maiden went to town when Minister Dutton sent her a text by accident after complaining about her appalling behavior in email. Meanwhile, Trump is tweeting North Korea into submission, and UN is falling, and UN is falling for it.